Hi everybody, I'm Todd McKim along with the coach and welcome to the inaugural Mike Bellotti Show as we kick off the centennial celebration of Oregon football. The Ducks coming off a big victory over Utah. We'll have all the highlights, a couple of uh, special features for you as well. And we will be joined later in the program by, uh, with one of the stars, uh, Ricky Whittle, as he had a sensational game in his uh, opener to the 1995 campaign. Well, we'd like to welcome the coach, uh, Mike Bellotti. Uh, coach is suffering with a little cold, and it's been warm in here today, so he's got the uh, sands, the coat look, which is fine with us. But first of all, congratulations. That was a, that was a real good win for a lot of reasons. One, it was on the road. Two, it was against a good opponent. And three, you had to overcome a lot of obstacles, some of which were created by your own team to win the game. Well, thank you, first of all. I mean, every win is a good win. Certainly, it's nice to start on the road uh, and go in and win a game when you have to. I think that we overcame some adversity. We talked about it. We made our own mistakes. We didn't act like quite the experienced team that we were, but we did battle back in the second half, held them scoreless, uh, put the ball in the end zone, uh, had a young man step up as a kicker punter for us that hadn't played a lot, and, and overall, it was a very gratifying win. You go over to Utah, and uh, the opening drive of the ball game, boy, your team looked like it was in midseason form. Zipped right on down the field for the touchdown, and then on the first defensive series, three and out for the Utah offense, and then one of the big plays of the game, special teams when Dan Pulsifer, their punter, uh, on his own, it wasn't a called play, ran for 71 yards. That seemed to change the complexion of that game early in, in, in the first quarter. Well, there's no question. Uh, you know, we had a a regular call our phones were down which was a problem because generally the call for the punt return comes through me to the sideline we couldn't get the call in so we made a call uh, and then we tried to alert them to the fact there was a fourth and one situation which basically puts us in a safe idea we didn't get that communicated across uh, our players probably should have known the situation anyway but as such once he bobbled the ball he looked in saw that there was an opening ran by several of our players who were involved with the return and then we couldn't find him we could not find him in the sea of red and I knew we were in trouble. <laughs> and then after that, your team comes back down uh, later in the quarter and an interception for a touchdown on the final play of the first quarter. And it's 17-7 at one point, Utah with the, year, uh, with the lead. But I thought at that point, your team came back and scored a field goal. And I thought that was very important for your team to come back, answer, and show some poise. Well, it was what I expected of a veteran team. It, we made some mistakes. It cost us. We were down but we did not stop playing hard. We didn't give up, we didn't roll over. And obviously that's very important to us, to our success in the future. And I think we learned something and, uh, and we played hard on all aspects. And we knew that we'd made our mistakes. We had, we had not been stopped in reality. And that was obviously sort of frustrating when you stop yourself or you contribute to your own demise. But our kids came back and I think they regrouped very well. Offensively, 530 yards in a season opening game against a team that, although they lost a lot of players, was number one in the Western Athletic Conference a year ago. And defensively, only 231 yards allowed, and that included the 71 yards on the punt return. So I, I guess in a lot of the phases, you did so many good things. I think, obviously, our offense uh, came to play. We did a lot of things. We probably threw the ball a little bit more than I would have wanted, but we were behind a great deal of the game. Uh, Gang Green, I think, uh, Two field goals is all they gave up, 160 yards, as you said, and, and 70 of it came on the one run. I think they played excellent defense. The more they were on the field, the better they got. Mm -hmm. uh, we got good pass rush at the end, and I think early on it was sort of disjointed. The offense was on the field, I think, all of the first quarter, it seemed like, and the defense never really got a chance to get on track, and we were moving the ball, but we weren't scoring or taking advantage of some of the opportunities. We had a lot of people open, uh, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of miscues here and there, but again, we won the game, so we can talk about that in a more in a positive manner. You, you mentioned the uh, 49 passes or whatever, but yet your offense had balance when you look at the final statistics because you ran the ball 44 times, 93 snaps for your offense. It was tough for me to look at the film this morning. <laughs> I didn't get through it all, I, and and uh, it is nice. And I think that what we're doing now with the offense, certainly at the end, it was very important to run the football. We needed to take time off the clock. We we had worn them down a little bit, and we were establishing our control of the line of scrimmage, knocking him off the ball. Ricky Whittle came in, and, and obviously we were going to put the ball in his hands. He did a great job with it. And uh, I, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't run out the clock at the end. We had a little bit of a miscue there, but I think we could have, and uh, that was very encouraging to me. You've got to be relieved. You got the first game yeah, over with. Yeah. You know, there, there's, there's no question. There's a lot of relief. Uh, I used to say at some, at one time when I won my first game at Chico, I said that was an ugly win. There are no ugly wins. <laughs> Every win is good. Well, and we're going to show you a lot of the highlights coming up in just a minute, yeah. but first of all. Play of the day here is 30 trap. The nice thing about that play was we got him in man-to-man -man coverage. 
So they were doing this. These people were covering here, and their backers were coming off the edge. They were trying to get it. Uh, we run the trap play. We're going to base block this, and we're going to influence trap this guy. Ricky cuts back, breaks a tackle right here, runs into the end zone. Great play in that situation. Great offensive call. All right, let's take a look at it from down low. Coming right at you. 